Hi, welcome back to my channel and on today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how I removed the contact paper that I applied to my kitchen about seven months ago. So yeah. Alright, so here I'm just taking a blow dryer that I have to soften up the adhesive, which at first I believe was the right thing to do. And I thought it was going well with this section of the countertop and then I slowly learned when I do another section like it starts to melt as you see right there and it just makes it a little bit harder but like I said this one was a little bit easier I already knew before I did this that there was going to be some stuff left behind from the adhesive whenever I did decide to remove the paper um, so yeah so I just scrubbed it down with soap and water originally just to see what it would do but then I had to go out and get some products to scrub it down with to fully remove it to what I liked you know smooth and solid so I had to find what I could use that would be safe for the countertops and still be okay for me because I am pregnant and I just didn't want to use like chemicals that were bad for me so yeah and now moving on to the cabinets um, obviously as you see I went in with the blow dryer which actually this blow dryer started working out really well for like this contact paper because they're the same brand but they're still kind of different um, but I definitely felt like it was super duper easy to remove the black contact paper that was on the wood versus the marble that was on top of the countertops. Um, even with uh, the black contact paper being easy to remove, it still left back a decent amount of adhesive as well. Um, but as you see with these cabinets, like they are all like different like each cabinet and like drawer is like a different shade because they are so like unfinished and not nice uh, the way that it was left as you can see on that drawer right there like you can see the adhesive once I go to pull it like it was crazy and since everything's pretty much the same the rest of the way for the remaining of the kitchen I'm just gonna stop talking here and just put some playback music and just enjoy watching me struggle to take contact paper off <laughs> So the cleaner that I used on the wood is different than what I used on the countertop just because the wood is very like worn out and I didn't want it to be damaged any more than it already was even before I put the contact paper on. So what I used was Murphy's oil soap so it was very gentle and obviously it's going to take a few cleanings to get everything completely off which is I'm totally fine with because um, it you can't really tell as much as you could with like the countertops and you couldn't feel it as much. Um, so yeah, you just do a few cleanings of that and it should be fine, which is what I did with all of them. And we'll probably still do it like a few, even months from now, just to make sure it's fully cleaned off, but yeah. Alright, so the products that I ended up using to remove all the adhesive all the countertops, I used Goo Gone, the spray version, and I just sprayed it and let it soak and then I would wipe it down, which I had to do it a few times just because there was a lot of residue left, as you can see on the countertops, like you can see where it's faded a little bit in certain spots, it's just because it has the adhesive still stuck to it. And I eventually stopped using the blow dryer just because I felt like it really wasn't doing much at that point. 
but I was just like struggling getting all these little pieces and scraps off stuff, so I'm just not gonna. This is the last clip I'm showing just because it was pretty much the same way for the rest of the way, so I wasn't gonna film that and make you go through that for no reason. So, with that being said, uh, I ended up getting all the adhesive off of all my countertops. Thank gosh, like it was crazy and it was driving me crazy. And the reason I started to remove the contact paper anyways is just because I am pregnant and I didn't need something happening within like my home and me having to move at some point for whatever and having to remove it then and be super pregnant I've just had a baby. I just didn't want to think about that. There was nothing wrong with it. It was perfectly fine. It held up really well. I was very happy with it. Even with like everyone saying how I did it a certain way, I did it so if I had to replace pieces, I would be able to versus having to rip off huge complete strips just to fix things if it was cut or burned because it's not indestructible, it's just paper stuck to a counter. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notifications every time I post and thanks for watching. Do it again, do it again, do it again I trusted you once but I won't I won't do that again